This is Fintana, Conde Tyrone. Fintana, a small, rather old-fashioned town in County Tyrone, one of the six northeastern counties of Ireland which are held under British rule. It has its problems, like other communities, but its rulers have a strange way of dealing with them. This is a record in pictures of how they deal here in Fintana with one of the basic problems of any community, the housing of the needy. The problem itself is pretty bad. Of the 314 houses in this town, about a quarter are like this, old, overcrowded, insanitary. Most of these little houses hold big families. Here are Mrs. Quinn and three of her children outside their cottage in Back Lane. There are six in the family, all living here. Mr. Campbell of Mill Street and some of his children. Eight people live here. There's a family of eight here too. This is Mrs. McGuigan, Castle Street, with five of her children. Mrs. Pearson, Water Lane, with five of her children. Again, a family of eight. Mrs. Mullen of Mill Street has eight children, all living here. Big families and little houses are normal in these back streets of Fintana. These two-room cottages in Brunswick Row have no running water and no sanitation. The gully trap in the foreground here is the only means of disposing of sanitary waste. These miserable dwellings condemned by the health authorities are the main problem of this old town. Many of them are not only insanitary, they're unsafe in other ways. In winter, this stream has flooded the Brunswick Row cottages to a depth of two feet. But many towns in most countries have or have had problems like this. The question to be asked is really, what progress is being made towards getting the people properly housed? In Fintana, a housing effort has been made, a very considerable one in proportion to the size of the town. The local authority, the OMA Rural District Council, has built 48 new houses in the past few years and laid the foundations for 20 more. 18 of these houses, and fine comfortable houses they are, are here at Craigavon Park. 24 more are at Mitchell Burn Terrace, not quite so good as Craig Avon Park maybe, but good modern houses. The remaining new houses, smaller ones, are here at Liskey, where more are now being built. The contrast needs no emphasizing. It looks as if the authorities here were making a pretty good job of things, getting the poor families with all those children out of those horrible cottages and into those fine new council houses. But the poor families are still right where they were, though each of them applied to get a new council house. Then where did the people in these new council houses come from? Did they need new houses more than the residents of Brunswick Row? These council houses were given to people who are comfortably off with small families or none at all. For example, number five, Craig Avon Park, is occupied only by Mr. Gillespie and his wife. Number 12, only by Mrs. Weir and her daughter. Mrs. Adams lives alone in number nine, and Mrs. Jones alone in number ten. Miss Mills lives alone in number seven. Mr. Gibson and his wife live alone at 24, Mitchell Burn Terrace. Mr. Coulter and his wife at number seven. Mr. Holdsworth and his sister at number one. Most of these people already had quite comfortable homes when the council houses were allotted to them. Mr. Holdsworth, for instance, sold this farm at Kilgort, near Fintana, before moving to his new house. This bungalow at Coney Warren, 10 miles from Fintana, is also a council house controlled by the Oma Rural District Council. Mrs. Jones left it for 10 Craigavon Park, where she lives alone. Her near neighbour, Police Constable Howe, formerly occupied this attractive house at Dromore Road, Fintana. Against a background of such great need, how is it that council houses are built for people who either do not need new houses or can well afford to rent them in the ordinary way? The answer is a political one. Two-thirds of the people of this little town are nationalists. That is to say, they are in favour of unity with the rest of Ireland and against being treated as part of Britain. One-third is unionist, which here, paradoxically, means favouring British rule and the partition of Ireland. But the town is controlled by that unionist minority and runs solely in their interest. These large families may be more in need of housing than childless couples or spinsters, but they happen to be nationalists, and the OMA Council, under unionist control, does not want to house nationalists. Only one in four of these houses went to nationalists, who are two-thirds of the population 
and probably four-fifths of those most in need of housing. Here at Craigavon Park, not one house went to a nationalist. In this electoral division, there's a small unionist majority which must be kept at all costs. In order to do this, it's necessary to bring in people from miles outside the district and to allocate houses to single people. Craigavon Park is unionist and unionist it must stay. That is the record of how social justice is dispensed in Fintona, County Tyrone. It is not, unfortunately, an exceptional case. Fintona is just one little town in an ancient historic nation, the nation of Ireland. But it, and hundreds of communities like it in six of the 32 counties of Ireland, are separated from the rest of Ireland and held under British rule. Fintona is on the six county side of the border that now cuts Ireland in two. Over the greater part of the six counties of Ireland now attached to Britain, there is a majority of the population which longs for unity with the rest of Ireland. The majority of the people over the whole area shaded on this map are Irish nationalists who are held by force under British rule. It's the deliberate policy of the rulers of the six counties to discriminate against these nationalists in voting privileges, in jobs and in housing. These pictures were taken in Fintona County Tyrone, not in order to rouse national or social hatreds, but in order to expose part of a system of discrimination imposed with the connivance of the British government. It is imposed in order to maintain partition against the wishes of the majority of the Irish people. It is a system not less cruel and wrong because it's unspectacular and unobtrusive. Only an informed public opinion can destroy the structure of injustice which here in Fintona and throughout the Partition Territory sustained the unnatural division of Ireland.